Hey, what is up YouTubers? It's Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows and in this video I want to go over a volume tutorial. A full tutorial kind of show you what it's all about, how much it costs, why you should use it, when you should use it, and all that good stuff. So as you can see right now I'm logged into my volume dashboard and this is what it looks like as soon as you go into the back office. So you got a whole bunch of these tabs up here. I'm gonna blur out these campaigns because I'm running them actively. As you can see those are the stats from last month and I'm still running these so I don't want to be giving anything away. But the first thing that I want to cover is when you should use volume. So before I started using volume I was always using uh, only using click magic and click magic is really great but once you start sending a lot of traffic it sort of gets hard to sort through all of the data in click magic and volume makes that a whole lot easier it's made for those campaigns where you're sending hundreds of thousands of clicks a day it makes it a lot easier to go through that data which is why it's called volume because it can handle a big volume of uh, clicks and I've been using volume for uh, I think probably like four or five months now and it's been so great and they recently lowered their pricing too. it used to be a few hundred bucks a month and now it's somewhere around like 50 to 60 bucks a month I think I'll get in that later but I also um, I've been in contact with the creators of volume and I worked out a special deal where I'm an affiliate for them and if you sign up using my link I got the I got them to lower the monthly price uh, through my partnership with them and I'll get into that later too but I figured the best way to do a volume tutorial is to just like go through one of my live campaigns and show you all the things that you can track within it so I'm gonna pull up one of these Bing Ads campaigns that I've been running for about three months now and it's been doing very well as you can see these are stats from October 1st 2019 to today January 18th 2020 so about three and a half months a little over three and a half months and uh, again I'm gonna have most of this blurred out just so I don't give anything away so we are in one of my campaigns and then you can click on offer your landers your sub landers affiliate networks and paths but I'm not going to do that just to so I can keep this campaign exclusive so I don't have a whole bunch of competition for it. So I'll start out by showing you how easy it is to sort through the data. So I'm going to click on country. And right here it has all the countries I'm running this. This campaign is actually only in the US. I, I'm only targeting the United States with this offer. And I've sent uh, 40,000 unique clicks and 327 now, conversions out of that for a conversion rate of 2.11 percent total revenue of 11k so I wanted to show you a campaign that has actually been doing some really good numbers so right away United States you know that's self-explanatory but then you can even go into the state and region so our top converting state is California and then Texas Florida and then these are just conversions but I can also go to revenue and sort by that and that changes a little bit. Uh, Florida hops in front of Texas, even though it had less conversions, because this campaign that I'm running, it uh, I'm promoting multiple offers on the landing page. It's not just one offer and one payout, it's different. So you can just sort through easily, and then you can click on click-through rate and see which state has the highest click-through rate, and that's not accurate. Uh, Virginia, I actually excluded this on my Bing Ads campaign because I was getting a lot of clicks from that state, and then I wasn't getting any conversions from it so I actually excluded that but as you can see over here um, Kentucky has a really good click-through rate so we'll go back to conversions then we'll just continue and then you can even go all the way down to the city so it turns out Minneapolis is my top converting city and that's pretty awesome because I'm from Minnesota and then if I wanted to I could see what cities are getting the highest amount of clicks with no conversions and I can go into my Bing Ads account and exclude Ashburn from my targeting and Columbus uh, I don't even know what the heck that is Piscataway <laughs> Piscataway uh, I probably butchered that but you guys are starting to see the importance of like how much data volume actually provides for you and how important that is with affiliate marketing because any little edge helps being able to go down to the city and exclude that or increase bids in certain cities etc that's going to give you a competitive edge versus people just using um, basic trackers or no tracking at all so moving on we can go to IP 
so this IP address right here wow I got I got a lot of IP addresses that have a lot of clicks and zero revenue and that's kind of alarming um, I know I've excluded some of these but I don't know if I've done done this but I can go back into my Bing ads account and just exclude these IP addresses that aren't converting which is so powerful so next device types um, I'm mostly running this on desktop I lowered the bid dramatically for mobile phone just because um, right away I could see that it wasn't converting very well but tablet and desktop desktop by far is my highest converting device type and then you can even go down to the specific brand so that's not going to change for desktop but Apple is a convert a high converting um, device brand uh, probably the Apple iPad and then the Amazon tablets are doing really good and then you can even go all the way down to the models so yep Apple iPad Amazon Fire HD has got a pretty good earnings per no um, the Amazon Kindle Fire has a pretty good earnings per visit and so does the Amazon Fire HD and this go this can really help you out especially with like Facebook ads because you can um, target specific um, device models in the Facebook ads you can't really do that with Bing ads but Facebook that is an option so that's something to keep in mind so let's go to the operating system so Windows by far has been the highest converting operating system for this campaign and then the next is Mac Mac operating system then iOS um, Fire OS OS X Chrome OS and then Android Android only has one conversion and that's a really low earnings per visit so that's something that I should keep in mind so next let's go to browsers Microsoft Edge is 116 conversions earnings per visit of 36 cents and then you can just go down here and so what is this Apple mail has an earnings per visit of 1.29 that's pretty cool um, so now we can go to refer and you can see that the top two referring domains are search.yahoo.com and www.bing.com and that is that's not really a surprise at all but then on the syndicated partner sides because this is the owned and operated for Bing ads or I keep on saying Bing ads it's Microsoft Microsoft ads now um, so we got Forbes articles uh, related .forbes.com that's a syndicated partner search.aol uh, us search.yahoo hide my searches.com and then you can go to refer domain so Bing, Yahoo, Forbes, Search AOL, um, Search Ads MSN, uh, the Microsoft Search Network, um, Search P H P C H. So that's pretty cool. Then live events. I don't really mess with this language. It's probably all English. Well, that that makes sense just because uh, I'm only targeting people that speak English. And this one is really important too. So you can go to date and then you can click on date. And you can go through all the days and um, see which which day you actually got the most conversions on sort through it that way and you can also do it by month so um, let's see here December was a really good month for me and October is when I started the campaign and now we're into January so you can go by month that's pretty cool and day parting this is super cool so I like to go by day of the week and then the highest converting day for me are actually Fridays. Well, it's tied for uh, Friday and Sunday, both at uh, 55 conversions. And then my worst converting day is Wednesday. So if I wanted to, I could go into my Bing Ads account and I could set a set up a schedule. So for every Wednesday, I could decrease my bid by 50% because Wednesdays aren't converting well and I have a really crappy earnings per click on Wednesdays. So you're starting to see the power of how this uh, data adds up. And then you can even do hour of the day. So the top converting hour of the day is from 1 to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then my second highest converting hour of the day is from 10 to 11 a.m. 
pretty cool stuff. And then the most important thing with uh, volume, especially with volume when you're using Bing ads, is that you can t uh, track up to 10 sub IDs. So with Click Magic, I showed you how you can track five, but with volume, it makes it super easy just to have all 10 of them. So my first uh, variable, they call them variables for sub IDs. Um, you can click on query string. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to show you the keywords that are resulting in my sale because that's going to give up my campaign. And then you can go to keyword, you can go to ad group, um, network. I can show you this one because it's not going to reveal anything. So owned and operated is my highest converting network. And it's got an earnings per click of 25 cents, 25.9 I should say. So that's pretty cool. And then you can even go into ad IDs. I can show you this as well. Um, so all these ad ideas, keep keep in mind, I'm split testing a whole bunch of ads with uh, this campaign. And a lot of these I've tested and paused if they're not working good. Um, again, we have device, even though we don't really have to because we have device types up here, but I'll, I'll, I did it anyways. Um, computer, and then campaign, and then site link. I don't really want to show you that. So I got eight different variables that I'm tracking with Bing ads. And that's pretty much it for the tutorial part. I figured the best way to do a volume tutorial was just to take you through one of these campaigns that I'm actually running and sending a lot of clicks to. And one more thing that I wanted to throw in there is that volume actually has a super useful mobile app that you can use. It looks like this. So it looks just like it does on the home page of volume and you can go through and then you can click on reports, go through all your campaigns, see which ones are doing good and a lot of trackers don't really have that and I think that is just really cool so I can wake up in the morning and instead of going to my laptop and checking my volume account I can just pull it up right here and if I'm out and about and I'm not even near my laptop or my computer I can just check on my phone so that's super useful that's just another bonus of being able to use volume as your tracker so I just wanted to throw that in there so I hope you enjoyed that part and this brings me to the next part of this presentation which is the pricing part of volume. So like I said before, uh, volume used to cost a whole bunch per month, but now they kind of brought that price down just so that they can get more users. So monthly, you can get it volume for as low as $69 per month. And that's the discovery plan. And if you're just starting out that it's plenty, you get three months of data retention, 20 active campaigns and one custom domain. So that's super cool. And then the best value, they say the profit, is the profit plan and then you get six months of data retention unlimited active campaigns and then three custom domains I'm on this plan right here but if you're just starting out might as well go with discover and upgrade once you need to upgrade and I'll have a link where you can come and check out this uh, page right here so you can go through all this I'm not gonna go through all of this just for um, time purposes that I want to take up all your time and then you can compare volume plans. Uh, the 69 per month is actually monthly, but if you go yearly, it'll bring it down to $49 per month. So that, I mean, you're saving 20 bucks a month by paying yearly. So that is some def or that's definitely something to consider. And then you can go through all this and see what's included with each plan. And then they have a really, uh, really useful FAQ section. But now that I showed you the pricing, I wanna show you something really cool. So I actually, I mentioned this before, but I've actually became a partner with Volume. I've been um, Skyping with the founders and I, they asked if I wanted to create content for Volume and I was like, yeah, sure, but if I'm going to be a partner, I want to be able to give my YouTube channel viewers a super good deal on Volume and they said, okay, that's fair. So this is my actual volume partner page so it's just volume.com forward slash partner forward slash Cody knows that link will be below and I'll show you or once you go here I would definitely take some time to watch this video what is it like a minute 30 it's a super cool video that they made kind of just it's a pretty cool video just uh, outlining what volume is why it's so important and then if you keep going down you can they'll show you the unique features and one cool feature they have is the fraud detection which is super cool and listicle tracking that's new why choose volume you can go through that the tracker you can trust yes you can um, the awards is a uh, Europe's fastest growing company 2019 2018 and 2017 so that shows you that 
you know these guys are legit and another thing I wanted to point out is that volume support is crazy I have a support rep who checks on checks in with me weekly always asking hey do you need help with anything and I use I usually respond that I don't but it's always nice knowing that they're there for you so their customer support has really improved throughout throughout the years and they're super fast to uh, to respond they'll want to connect with you on uh, Skype and Facebook they're just super helpful so this is what I was talking about now I, I negotiated a discount for all you guys so monthly it's $62 instead of what was it for the monthly over here $69 per month you know this is 62 I mean you're saving saving seven bucks a month using this link instead of the actual volume pricing I mean seven bucks a month throughout a year you're saving $84 that's $84 that you can use for your paid ads campaign whatever paid ads platform you're using so and then the profit plan monthly is 138 here but on the actual volume it's 149 so you're getting a good discount and then I'll show you the yearly so usually it's $49 for the yearly and then now it's $44 a month so that's just something to think about um, one thing I also did want to mention is that if you do sign up with volume and you do go through my volume partner link once you do this I will be at your disposal uh, we can connect on Skype because one thing that I like to do is that the new updated Skype you can do screen share so we can hop on a uh, Skype call I can have you share your screen with me and then if you're having any problem setting up your first volume campaign or, or trying to add offers in there whatever you get caught up with I'll connect with you on Skype and I can help you so that's one more incentive to go through my partner link is that I'll not only offer email support but Facebook support and Skype support so I'm basically there for you so that is basically it um, there's another FAQ on my partner page so I hope this tutorial really explained to you why you should use volume the benefits of using volume because you can go so deep into your data um, when you should use it and why you should use it etc if you have any questions or concerns drop a comment below I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can and remember if you do sign up through this partner link um, I am at your disposal and that is it for this video in the upcoming videos I'm going to be going over how to create campaigns within volume and that is it for this one if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos and I will see you in the next one Bye.